I think maybe it'll work. We'll see. I could be totally wrong. We'll see. Hey everybody, welcome to my closet. I am about to do a closet declutter. Now I did one back in October, so it was probably roughly six months ago, and I am now 15 weeks pregnant. You start showing a lot earlier, the more kids you have. And so at 15 weeks, I'm definitely showing and feeling more than what I recall with either one of the girls. And that means that a lot of my clothes are screaming at me. And I just, I know that there are some things that even if I am kind of able to wear it now, I won't be soon. And I may not be able to wear them for like another year and a half to two years. So there are definitely some items that I'm like, I don't need to be holding on to these. I don't like them enough to hold them in my closet for two years without wearing them. Let's go ahead and dive into the closet. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mia Danielle and I chat all about holistic and clutter-free spaces. And what I usually say to do is to take everything out of the closet when you're doing a full closet overhaul and just to put the things back in that you want to keep. However, I'm already working with a pretty minimal and tidy wardrobe. So the clothes that I have hanging up here right now, I've got 45 and I probably have like, I don't know, maybe 15 more items tops in the top drawer. So I don't feel the need to pull everything out. It's gonna be pretty easy and convenient for me to go through as they are standing. I do seasonal sorting because I keep all of my seasons of clothes in one section. So all of these cover all of the seasons and I've got all of my pants at the front and then short sleeve shirts and then long sleeve shirts and jackets are at the very back. I have about seven pairs of pants, the ones that I'm about to show you, and then I have one pair of black pants that I'm hoping that I find somewhere in this process, and then I have just the gray sweats that I'm wearing right now, which I'm gonna hold on to for the time being, but I can tell you it's not gonna make it through the whole pregnancy because it's already a little bit tight in the waist and it's also starting to get a little pilly, which bothers me. But these first pants here are my mustard pants. And I got these because I felt like I needed just something that was different from all normal pants. And I saw somebody wearing mustard capris and I was like, that's it, I need some mustard pants. To be honest, I don't wear them as much as I wish I did. A lot of the shirts that I have just don't necessarily match these kind of pants, however, these are also the widest pants that I own. They're one of the few pants that are non-sweatpants that do still fit me. I'm gonna hold on to these and I'm hoping that now that they're one of the few pants that really fits me well, I'll start to wear them more. I'm gonna keep the keep pile over here to the left and I'm gonna set the things that I'm donating out on the bed. These are my beloved gray pants. I wear these quite often. They are getting a little bit too tight for my pregnant body. However, they have a lot of stretch. So I'm assuming that as soon as I'm postpartum or at least shortly thereafter, I will be able to wear these again. So I am gonna hold on to these. I feel like these gray jeans just kind of go with everything. And then these I just recently got from Target when I realized that most of my pants were no longer fitting me. This is the only pair of maternity pants that I have bought so far. So these are legit maternity pants. Most days I'm between this cream pair and my favorite black pair, which is the pair that I'm kind of looking for at the moment. So these I got not too long ago. I've definitely bought these in the past year and I got them in the pink because again, I thought it would be nice to have something that stood out as a different color. The fact that they do stand out as a different color though, makes it really hard for me to find something that looks good to wear with them. So honestly, I've only worn these probably a couple of times since I bought them. So if I do get rid of some pants, it's probably gonna be these. I'm gonna hold on to them for this first pass, see how much stuff we end up getting rid of when it comes to the shirts. These are my overalls. Matt's never been a huge fan of the overalls, but they're kind of part of my Texas heritage, so I've held on to them. I'm not sure how well they're gonna expand with the pregnant belly. They're not necessarily loose overalls. In fact, I feel like they're kind of tapered tight for overalls. I'm not even sure if I could fit into these right now. So I'm putting these in the try on and maybe pile for the time being. And then these are the last pair of pants that I have hanging up in there. They're actually my only pair of jeans right now, which is funny because for a while I was a jeans only girl. Like I would have two to three pairs of jeans and that's all the pants that I had. Now I have all these variety of pants. I'm kind of proud of myself about that. And I only have one pair of jeans. <laughs> uh, but these are high rise and they're like, look at that. 
They are so stretchy. I think that these, again, kind of like the gray ones, are gonna be a really good fit soon after postpartum. So I'm gonna hold on to these two. Luckily, I don't have a ton of pants. So there are things that I'm gonna be getting rid of, but they may not be in the pants section. Okay, shirts. When I did my last closet declutter, I went and did a thrift shop. I bought some clothes that just are a little bit too tight or a little bit too short. This is one of those shirts. I know that I'm not gonna feel comfortable with that, even six months postpartum. And who knows, maybe never again, we'll see. This might be able to work well as a smaller maternity shirt. Gonna stick to this one and hold on to it. This is just a little acro shirt for acro yoga. I use them to exercise and then just when it gets really hot out and I just wanna throw on something that's kinda tangy. Sadly, this is another midriff shirt. It's like it just lands right on where the bump is. And so I think that my oldest daughter is gonna really like this one. <laughs> Nope. I had to try this one on because I was hoping it wouldn't be quite as midriffy as I was worried that it would be. And yeah, that's not gonna happen. Same thing for this one. And it's so sad because I love this shirt. It's a really soft, comfortable cotton material. A little kind of like summer dressy almost style. But right there where the ruffles go out is right at the belly and it's like it just shoots off the stomach. This is one that I recently got when I was trying to find a few more maternity friendly shirts. So this is a legit maternity shirt. I've got you babe, it's cute, and uh, it actually fits really well around the stomach too, as it should, since it's a maternity shirt. Definitely holding on to this one. This one I'm not sure about. I mean, we are just now coming into summer, so it makes sense that I haven't worn it recently, but I do really like the sleeves. I like the kind of bat winged type of sleeves. Not super crazy about the navy colored stripes. I've just never been a big fan of navy. However, you know, it's long, it's loose. I think that it might go nicely with a pregnant belly. I think that I'll still get some use out of this. So I'm gonna hold on to this for now. This I got a lot of use out of last year and I can already tell it's gonna be a definite nope this time because it's, uh, oh, it's so cute. I love the gauzy shirts and it's got that gauzy material, um, but the front of it kind of bunches up in a little knot right there and it comes like right at my belly button. So before I could get away with wearing just maybe a tight black undershirt underneath it and that was fine. But I think that as I grow, especially, it's just gonna look more and more weird that it's so short. So really cute shirt. Hopefully my daughter will really like it. I love the color of this shirt. I love this shirt in general. I love the color of it. It's got the gauzy material. I think that this color really suits my tones. And I've gotten so many compliments on this shirt. I've taken like entire photo shoots that I still use today. I've worn it in videos and I've never gotten as many compliments on a shirt as I have this one. However, it's not gonna work. Well, look how awkward this looks. And this is like at 15 weeks. It's only gonna go up from here. This was one that I wasn't really sure about keeping last time and I really kept it because it has a very soft material. I'm not a huge fan of the color and honestly, I'm not really a huge fan of the lace design. I think that it's time to let it go. I'm ready, it's ready, we're ready. All right, we're starting to lose some daylight, so I'm gonna have to pick up the speed a little bit here. I found this at the thrift store still with the tag on it, and I thought it was really cute and very soft material, but I don't really like having the the close necks, like the necklines that are just way up here. I feel like they just look kind of funky on me, and so I'm not crazy about the way this looks. Uh, I only have one of these, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. This is my single, dressy dress. This is the only thing that I have to wear to any funeral, wedding, special event, and I've worn it. It's in every picture of every event that I would need to dress up for, for the past like five to seven years. You will see this dress worn over and over again. I recently got this gray hoodie, and it is a little bit short, but I wear it over other things. So like I would wear it so like I would wear it over this gray shirt that I'm wearing now and I've actually been wearing it every morning when Matt and I go on our walk so I'm gonna hold on to it this one not a big fan it's very soft on the inside which is why I've held on to it this was actually a hand-me-down but the shape not so great I'm gonna be donating this one it's funny I like the style of this one I don't like the way that it fits around the seams it just feels too firm you know it's not it's not something that I can like pull on me and stretch into or something it's something that I feel like I have to resist against to get inside of it and because of that I never wear it and also the inside is kind of this net type material so it's not really soft because of those things even though I think that the sweater is really cute I thrifted this one recently too 
uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on to somebody else who will actually want to wear it and reach for it. Another one I've gotten a lot of compliments on, very soft, very fuzzy. I got this one for Christmas for my grandma just this past year, and so I will be holding on to it. This one's kind of a struggle because I don't have a lot of shirts that represent Portland, and this one does represent Portland. I actually bought it at the Portland airport. And so I'm gonna see if my daughter wants to wear it. And if not, then I have a little bit of room up there that I can, I can hold on to it and try again this next winter, but I'm just not super optimistic about it. Definitely love this one. I got this cashmere sweater from Lily Silk. I love cashmere. It's the only cashmere shirt that I even own right now. I do really like it and I've worn this almost every day this winter, like literally almost every day. So of course I'm holding on to that. This one came from my grandma and I really like the cream color. It's very long. I think that this is gonna hold on for a while during the pregnancy, so I'm gonna hold on to this one as well. This one was one of my favorites when I first got it. It was so white, it was so soft, and just slinky and fit perfect. And now after several washes, it's become less soft, it's a little more rough. The white has kind of turned more to a gray color and it's tightened in different areas kind of strangely so it doesn't look the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate this one as well. I mean, it's still a cute shirt. This is one short shirt that I think, and I could be totally wrong here, I think it's gonna work okay with just a tight shirt underneath it because it's so short that it's, it looks almost like, well, yeah, you're expected to wear a shirt underneath it. So I'm gonna hold on to this because I do really like the material. It's very soft, very loose, it just kind of hangs on you and feels comfortable. Um, I like the style, I like the color. So I, even though it's like really short, this will be the only short shirt that I keep. I'm just trying to picture it like with a big belly. And I think, I think maybe it'll work. We'll see, I could be totally wrong, we'll see. This was the warm hoodie that I reached for whenever I needed something big and thick over the winter. So it got a lot of use. I was very happy with the way that it worked out for me. So I will continue to hold on to it and use it next winter. Also, pink sweater. This was in the same thrift shopping spree as the rest of them, including that gray shirt. I still really like the way that this one fits. I like the way that it looks. It's not the longest shirt, but it's not super short either. So I think that it'll make it for at least a little bit in this pregnancy. And I definitely think that it's gonna look good postpartum. This one is not my favorite because the arms are a little tight and as you've seen I like things to be a little bit loose but when I wear it I think that it looks nice and it still is holding up like good quality. I think that maybe for a little bit of pregnancy growth it's gonna well, you know what, honestly, like the pregnancy is gonna be happening over the summer. The baby's due in November. We're not gonna have a whole lot of cold times left. So the question is, is this going to look decent postpartum? And I think that it might. So I'm actually gonna hold on to this. I think that it might. Even though it's not my favorite, I did end up reaching for it and wearing it a lot because I thought it looked nice on me. So that counts for something. Got a lot of compliments on this one. I still have worn it in some videos even recently. Of course, now we're coming up to summer, so you'll see it less. It is short, but again, not super short. And by the time I'm wearing it again, we'll be postpartum. So I think that this one I'll also be holding on to. This is probably the only shirt that I'm okay with having a little bit of a collar and being around my neck. And I think that's just because it's so soft and it's a really short collar. This one I thrifted around the same time. It barely worked before I was pregnant. And now that I'm pregnant, it just looks sloppy. It looks really tacky now that I'm pregnant. I got this one for my grandma the same time that I got the other beige one that I showed you. I don't ever reach for it because, because of the neck. I'm just not into it, you know? It's not that I don't think that they look nice on other people. It's not my thing. This one used to be one of my favorite winter shirts. I really went into a mustard phase. This past winter, I didn't reach for it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one over in the donation pile as well. I do still think it's a really nice shirt. I just don't think that it's me anymore. My mom got me this one last winter and it has like really kind of balloony arms with the tapered wrists. So I like it. I'm gonna hold on to it. We're down to the last few things. We got this one. Like that it is off the shoulder, that it's like a wide neck. I don't think that the light purple looks really nice on me. And because of that, I didn't wear it a whole lot this past winter. Again, now we're coming into summer and I maybe wore it once the past winter, maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one on, even though I think the shape of it is really cute. I really do like the shape of it. And then this is the last thing. This is not something that I would be able to wear in public. However, for some reason, I have made this my pregnancy picture dress. So whenever I go take pictures of the bump to see how much we've grown every week or every couple of weeks, this is the dress that I selected the first time and so I wear it every time. And I know that by the time I get to nine months, this dress is gonna be like, 
super short. It's probably gonna be coming up to the top of my thighs. I do really like the dress. Like I like the style of it, the colors of it. The material is really soft. It's held up well over time. It's just a little bit short. Uh, because it is my maternity picture shirt for the time being, I'm definitely gonna hold on to it. Okay, we really are almost done here. The last thing that I have is whatever clothing items are left in my top drawer. There shouldn't be many, but I'm gonna go ahead and dive into that. Here are my black pants. I have <laughs> been looking for these for like a week now and I keep accusing my oldest daughter like, did you mix them up in somebody else's laundry because I haven't been able to find them. They were mixed in with my black bathing suit and it matched, it was the same color and so I couldn't see them until just now. I do love these pants, definitely keeping them. They feel very yogi-ish and they're very uh, cool too, which is gonna be great for coming up in the summer. So definitely keeping these pants. These are my PJs and a couple of my lounge around or tank tops. These are shorts, skirts, even a few pairs of tights that I'm probably not gonna wanna hold on to. I'm gonna keep the underwear in the middle, but we're not really gonna go through all that because I know that I'm already pretty decluttered there. Final stretch, rapid fire here. My dog is my co-pilot shirt. It was my favorite last summer and I think the summer before that too, but it's like super thin. Now it's starting to disintegrate away. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. Black pajama pants that are very soft. I've already got enough PJs. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate at least the shirt. I might be able to use these shorts to lounge around in during the summer though. Got two tank tops, one yellow, one gray. I got these at Target last summer before we went to Cancun. Definitely gonna be holding on to these cause it's already starting to get hot. I'm definitely gonna be wanting to get some more summer dresses. Maternity summer dresses would be even better. This one, you know, it stretches out a lot cause it like, does this whole thing. The only thing is it's already kind of short. So as my stomach grows, like, I don't know, it may, it may not actually work, but for now it does. And so I can continue using it for now. Slinky gray shirt. I've had this one for years and I do wear it every winter, every fall and every spring. Tights that were gifted to me and I don't, I'm not a big tights fan. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to donate these and let them go. And then I have two pairs of shorts, one white and one denim. These are not gonna work. I can tell already they're not gonna fit. The denim ones feel a little bit stretchier. So maybe? If not, then I would have no shorts. So as it is, these are gonna be my only pair of shorts. I'm gonna hold on to them for the time being and see how it works. Got a blue jean skirt, which I definitely do not wear very often. And it definitely feels like it's gonna be a little bit tight. I think that I'm gonna take the opportunity to let that one go. I almost forgot that I had these. An extremely long top, which you would think might be good for pregnancy, except that the string is at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate these as well. The only thing left in there is two scarves and one hat. So we are good to go. So here is my pile, my glorious decluttering pile. Got good bit of stuff in there. I know I'm a little bit light on clothes right now. I will be replacing them with things that are going to be more appropriate for my body and my lifestyle moving forward. And all of these things are not things that I was reaching for anyway. So it's nice to get them out of view so I can see what I'm actually working with. Thank you for joining me on my closet declutter and I will see you next week.